Hi, my name is Maria Clara, and together with Laura, Matheus, and Renata, we will be bringing a few considerations about the neutrophil extracellular trend in immunity and disease. Neutrophil are the most abundant innate immune effector cells of the human immune system. First line of defense against microbial infections, eliminate pathogens through phagocytosis, degranulation, and the formation of extracellular neutrophil tramps. Net or large web like structures composed of cytosolic and granule proteins that are assembled on a scale food of decondensed. Chromatin. First, 24 proteins were identified in labs from made by stimulation of neutrophil. For example, Riston serine protease neutrophil elastase, myeloperoxidase, calprotein, defensin, and actin. However, studies suggest that the composition of nets varies depend on the stimulus. There may be two process for net release, netose and nolytical netose. Netose starts neutrophil arrest the actin dynamic and the polaris. Next, the nuclear envelope December and nuclear chromatin decondest into the cytoplasm of impact cells mixed with cytoplasm and granule component. The plasma member the permeability and next expands into the extracellular space 3 8 hours after the neutrophil activation. While neolithical methods occur independent of cell that and involves and the secret expulsion of nuclear chromatin that is accompanied by the release of granule protein through the granulation. Netosis must be tied in a regular to prevent pathology. The size of microorganisms is one of several factors that influence netosis. The detection of the size of the pathogen depends on the cooptation between netose and phagocytose for access to elastase neutrophilic. In the figure, we have the net induced by toxoplasma. Human peripheral blood neutrals were incubated with toxoplasma in the presence of an inhibitor. The cells were fixed and marked with antibodies, we see in red and the net were visualized in yellow. The small microorganisms are absorbed into phagosomes. However, many of these microorganisms can survive and escape the phagosomes. Therefore, it's possible that netose is reserved for small virulent microorganisms. For example, enteropathogenic virulent bacteria induce net formation, while no virulent probiotic bacteria do not induce net formation. In the figure, we have a salmonella, a bacteria that causes typhoid fever. We can observe that bacteria attached to the net. Microorganisms can escape from nets through three known mechanisms, inhibiting the formation of nets, they employ molecules to cushion the wall's explosion and reduce netose, you see in part A, covering yourself with a capsule that reduces your avidity to nets, for example, using glycoproteins, making them more resistant to net mediated death, you see in part B, and by secretory endonucleases that degrade the networks. We see in part C. Specialized microbial enzymes can also convert nets into cytotoxic molecules that kill immune cells. In this example, 
we have Staphylococcus aureus converting nucleotides derived from that into deoxydenosine that induces apoptosis, eliminates macrophages in the vicinity of abscesses. In short, microorganisms modulate netosis prothesial mechanism depending on its size and the expression of virulence factors. A strategy for small microorganisms to escape phagocytosis is the aggregation, that is, the ejection of many cells in one location. For example, mycobacterium valves conduction netose depending on the size of the microorganisms. Mechanisms of virulence. Bacteria that do not have a scourge cannot cause a powerful explosion of rods in netosis. And microorganisms attenuate netosis involving host receptors that suppress neutrophil activation. For example, sialic acids, glycoproteins, enzymes. Regarding nets in host defense, it has been difficult to define their specific contribution to immune response given that most of the proteins that are implicated in netosis are also important for phagocytosis and cytokine regulation. Studies demonstrated that nets trap, neutralize and kill bacteria, fungi, viruses and parasites and are thought to prevent bacterial and fungal dissemination. For example, in their work, Brinkman and colleagues demonstrated that nets associate with both gram-positive and gram-negative pathogens in vitro. Subsequently, they showed that extracellular bacterial killing of neutrophils was greatly reducing both ex flexneri and s aureus infections after incubation of samples with DNAs or antibodies against histones, demonstrating the importance of nets for this process. Altogether, this data strongly suggests that the fibrous structure of nets is involved in the process of sequestration and killing of bacteria. In another work, Saito and colleagues showed that nets mediate a host defense response to HIV-1 in vitro. First, they showed that HIV-1 virions were captured on the nets. They observed that infectivity of HIV-1 in the culture supernatant was reduced after incubation with PMA-stimulated neutrophils, but was not reduced after dna one treatment, indicating that DNA produced by PMA-stimulated neutrophils mediates inactivation of HIV-1. Furthermore, immunofluorescence analysis revealed that MPO and the alpha defensin were abundantly expressed on the nets produced by neutrophils and that inhibition of MPO activity and neutralization of alpha defensin resulted in an impaired virucidal response to HIV-1 on the nets. Therefore, this data suggests that net formation can also work as an antiviral response promoting HIV-1 elimination through myeloperoxidase and alpha defensin. Aspergillus fumigatus is the most important airborne fungal pathogen causing life-threatening infections in immunocompromised patients. In their work, Bruns and colleagues showed that human neutrophils produced nets in vitro when encountering a fumigatus. A scanning electron microscopy further revealed the intimate contact between neutrophils and the three morphotypes of the fungus. Using a mouse model, they also demonstrated the existence of net formation in vivo by microscopy of Aspergillus infected lungs. Thus, this data also exemplified the participation of nets in the immune response to fungal infections. Nets in disease. Neutrophil extracellular traps net causing pathology in a number of conditions to several mechanisms. Direct cell damage is implicated in infection, seps, unimmunity, and diabetes. By lesions macrophage for inflammation, nets drive atherosclerosis. The increased propensity for nettles promotes inflammation and organ damage in cancer and ischemia hyperfusion injury. Net formation in a circulation promotes coagulation, vascular occlusion, and thrombosis. Nets in capillary canals capture and potentially through other mechanisms promote tumor metastase.
Nets promote vasoclusion. Nets then form in a circulation provided a scaffold that promotes deep vein thrombos. DVT, a condition that is more prominent in the patients with cancer and obesity. Net formation drawn thrombosis in thought to be initiated by hypoxia induces release of von Willenbrand factor, VWF, and pestalectin form the endothelium, then recreate and activate neutrophils for nitros. Neutrophils accumulate in the vasculature in a pestalectin dependent manner and this followed by playland. Recruitment. Nets in cancer. Nets myectidine, the primary tumor promoting progression. While at remote, state the mind sequester circulating cancer cells favorable matter state. Initially, nets have been implicating cancer associated thrombos. One inflammatory condition when net formation induct circulating tumor cells and more promote either and the organ vasculature. By entropying tumor cells and exposing in the virus neutrophil divide factors, NET might generate in microenvironment rich proteins and enzymes that promote tumor cells survival and progression. Conclusion The ability of NET to try microorganisms generate much enthusiasm but is their pathogenic potential that has attract recent attention. However, it might turn out that their immunity modulate properties have a no benefit rules in immune defense. Concentrate the action, dysregulation and suppressive mechanisms and the XNET view are prominent pathogenic mechanisms that are likely to contribute to disease. Given the multitude of nets, proteins, navel that functions are likely to emerge. A better understand in the functions and impact of nets on route to enable suppression of dentrument active without interference. We benefit ones and ultimately allow us to exploit net to treat disease. References Thank you for our participation.